Hello all, welcome to Uncommon Geeks. Myself Fazant. I hope you all doing well. Today's topic is deep copy and shallow copy. Copying a value of a variable from one to another is considered to be one of the most basic feature of every programming language, and JavaScript is no different. In fact, deep copy and shallow copy are very straightforward topics. We can easily call them as copy by value and copy by reference. But the problem lies in the number of questions that can be asked around this topic. A very difficult questions can be formed easily in this topic using arrays, strings, object, and nesting of object, nesting of objects and functions, which will make candidate very confused during the interview. I have seen those candidate who have actually read this topic and came for the interview, and they struggle to answer when a small variation of the simple question is asked. So I'm I have taken this topic, and I'll be covering in depth. and asking all the different questions which are generally asked during the interview so that when such questions are asked for you during the interview you will be able to answer them very easily without wasting further time let's get started the variable is something that is common across all the programming languages in javascript as well we have different ways of copying variable from one to another it is divided mainly into two things two two ways one is deep copy and another one is a shallow copy okay it's one of the interviewers hot topic most interviewers will ask question around this uh, the, the reason being it's very easy to create a tricky question in this topic okay so i want you to focus and understand this video thoroughly so that when i go to the next video where i'll be asking questions around this you'll be able to answer it very well okay without wasting further time let's get started first let us see what is deep copy okay i'm doing creating a variable x which is of time number and i'm assigning it a value of 10 okay so i'm creating a variable y which is also of type number why are is coming okay the annotation can be only used in typescript file it's like kind of a warning i don't think we there is any problem with this okay uh, and log the value of x is x and value of y is y okay let us execute this code i don't want you to answer because it is very straightforward you will be able to answer i'm aware okay uh yeah maybe this annotation cannot be used in javascript so i'm not using okay let me just execute so value of x is 10 value of y is also 10 okay uh quite straightforward nothing fancy here because this is something that everyone are using so you people are aware of it i'll just make it y as 20 now and i rerun the code we got y as 20 so uh, this is very straight forward but wh what i want you to understand is we have created a variable with let x and the value initial as it is 10 then we created another variable y and we copied the value of x into it and again we added a new value into y and we made it 20 okay and So x is 10 and y is 20. Okay. So what I want you to understand here is, after you copy x to y, and you updated y, there is no connection between y and x. So you copied here uh, x to y, and you are done. So putting in other way from the programming constraint. So whenever you do this line, basically the compiler will allocate a memory location to the variable x, and it will store the value of 10 in that memory location. Okay. and whenever you did this y is equal to x a new memory location is allocated to y and whatever the value that was there in x that is 10 is placed in that memory location so now x and y point to two different memory location so whenever you change the value of y there is no connection to x okay this is a deep copy why this is called deep copy is after copying the values there is no connection between the two variables you are done so that is deep copy there is another one copy shallow copy but before going to shallow copy i'll tell on which all types you can make a deep copy okay we call them primitive types okay primitive types you will be able to make a deep copy that is number number string and boolean so these are the three types on which you will be able to make a deep copy okay whenever you create a variable with these three types and you copy to another variable of same type then you will be you are making a deep copy okay now let us understand what is a shallow copy or a shallow copy so let array 1 is equals to 1 2 3 4 log 
array one. I'm printing array one. Okay. And what I'm doing is array two is equals to array one. Array two dot push five log array two. Okay. Also, I'm logging array one. So quite straightforward. I created an array and I added uh, initialize that with a four values of integer type. Then I'm logging array one. Then I'm copying array one to array two. And for array two, I'm adding, I'm pushing a value five. As you know, push is a JavaScript uh, operation, array operation, which will add an element at the end of the array. So now array two contains five values, five at the end. I'm logging array two, then I'm logging array one again. Okay, let me run this. So after running, what we are getting is array one, we got one, two, three, four, which is fine because whatever the value we add into array one, that is getting printed here. Okay. And uh, in case of, so after that, we are doing array two is called to array one. So we copied here. Then for only to array two, you have to observe this line here. Only to array two, we added the, you push the value of five or you added a value five at the end of the array. So we printed array two, it became one, two, three, four, five. But even array of one, if you print after that, that also is getting becoming uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just to extend what I'll do, array one dot to push 10 I am doing or six I am doing, okay? Then what I'll do, I'll print both the arrays. If you want, we can make it array one and array two, okay? Let's see the output. See, both the arrays getting updated. So putting other way, we whatever the array two variable we created, okay it is not totally new variable it is not it is it, it is not disconnected from array one there is some connection okay i'll tell you what is that connection but before that i'll, I'll give you some standard bookish ex, uh, bookish definition for both because standard interviewers would expect you to tell a standard definition so i'm giving you this deep copy means that all the values of the new variable are copied and disconnected from the original variable like i already explained shallow copy means that certain or sub values are still connected to the original variable. Actually, there is no standard definition for deep copy and shallow copy that is mentioned in developer.mozilla.com. Different authors have formed a definition according to their understanding, but mainly whatever I'm uh, showing you this definition that uh, it means the same. Okay, you, you, you are free to tell, tell this in your interview or where, wherever you want to tell this answer. Okay, now I'll, I'll explain this with the help of this uh, uh, image much in, in a very easy way. Okay, if you see here, we have a shallow clone and deep clone, or we can tell you shallow copy and deep copy. And for your information, this image is I have taken it from a medium blog. I'll, I'll link, uh, I will mention that link of that medium blog in the uh, video description. And the, all the rights of this image goes to whoever has created it. Okay, I'm just using it. So, in case of a, a shallow clone, what's happening is, uh, First, let us understand deep clone, original object and referenced object, cloned object and referenced clone. So you can consider like this two are uh, some independent entities. So after you copyright, there is no connection. They have disconnected. But for the shallow clone, both the cloned object and the original object basically pointing to the referenced object. Or in this case, whenever I created let array, okay, array one as one, two, three, four. What happened was we were we allocated a four memory locations and starting location was uh, with, with was with array okay array one what is happening whenever you copy array two whenever you copy array one to array two basically both refer to the same memory location so because of which whenever you modify either array two or either array one you are technically modifying the same memory location due to which no matter which variable you modify the both arrays are getting modified. So this is a shallow copy. Okay. So I believe now you are clear what is deep copy and what is shallow copy. And in the next video, I'll be explaining you I, or I'll be asking you various different questions that can be asked uh, on this topic. But I want you to understand this topic very clearly because uh, 10 out of 8 interviews definitely they'll ask you some question, some or the other question on deep copy and shallow copy. Okay. If you like my video, please do like it on my YouTube channel. If you want your friends also to learn from this please share it with them do not forget to subscribe to our, our channel uncommon geeks and i have also linked my medium blog where i have explained deep copy and shallow copy please do read that so you will get a lot of examples handy there so you can just copy and onto your favorite editor and execute them okay i'll see you in the next video thank you